Good morning, everybody. We're back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, yeah, when was the last time we filmed? What oh, was it? I don't even know. The last two weeks have just flown by. But we're back. We are back. Um, with a standard morning routine. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. So I've kind of done everything now. So like rice is all done for the day. Some salt in there. Um, put it all away now actually. And then pre-workout meal, which is the standard at the moment. Food hasn't changed. Uh, food's been the same for quite a while now, actually since I was back in the UK. So we're running like it's about, it works out around three and a half thousand calories on training days and about 3,200 on rest days. So we are on a training day today. Um, we've got top line and arms. And I don't think we've done that session actually. No, I don't think we've filmed that. So that'll be good, run you through that workout. And then because my afternoon is really boring <laughs> with a lot of calls, um, I'll kind of vlog the other half of the day. So it's absolutely fine. So. We'll crack on with the day. Um, rice is cooked. Pills are all in. I haven't drank all that water. I've had two of these. So yeah, just start your day off. Get your fluids in. Um, pills are in. They can go away. This is me just like mentally like talking to myself, sorting my life out. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Same as the last video we did to be fair like the morning routines don't change at all like Just having like a few non-negotiables that you do to kind of just kickstart your day. It's nice and easy and then That is it. I am getting in the habit of listening to like audiobooks in the morning So every morning I'll listen to an audiobook and right now You'd like this one We're doing um relentless, which is cool you done? Nice. Have you heard that one? I've heard about Yeah, it's really good. Is it the one, uh, the Michael Jordan? Yeah, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and... Oh, who was the, who's the guy uh, who played for the Heat? Dwayne? Dwayne? Dwayne, uh, Dwayne I want to say Johnson. Dwayne, 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 Dwayne Wade, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. like the big three and stuff like that. Yeah. Mate, it's crazy. Wow, yeah. The, the audio book's a bit like... It's very like... Fuck friends, if you don't like this, fuck you sort of thing. And you're like... Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. Um, but that is generally something that, that's probably the only, what have you, what have you done this year? Have you set yourself any little New Year's? Yeah. I'm good, good. <laughs> Ever since like the, the fireworks uh, gone up, I just looked at my friends, it's the same man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nothing, changes. Same, nothing changes. That's the thing with New Year, like, it's almost just like, oh, just means to go on sort of thing. So the only thing I want to do a little bit more of this year is like, I'm really bad at reading. I'm the worst dyslexic in the world. And it's probably one thing that I've been really insecure with most of my life is like, if you got me to like read out in front of public, I'd be like fucking petrified. So the only way for me to kind of like learn is like by visually, so, or listening and things like that. So audio books are the way forward. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we're going to stop chatting shit. We're going to crack on with the day. Um, I've got to do check-in pictures this morning for Cam. So I've got to do my own check-in this morning. Then we'll go to the coffee shop, do a little bit of work for an hour. I've got the cleaner coming in. And that's it. So I'm going to get showered, do the check-in pictures, coffee shop. Let's go. benefit of being four hours ahead four hours ahead of the UK and then the US is that we're ahead so I can get back to everyone's messages from last night this morning so just going over like training feedback this morning from clients and just everything like that so it's quite nice being a little bit ahead because they're like huh, by the time they've woken up they've got it all so it's quite it's nice just to be mentally ahead it's like the weekends here right you know when you like Sunday's the first working day so you're like sick I'm mentally ahead 
so yeah just kind of um get back to everyone go back through their training feedback stuff like that and that's it but we just go to the coffee shop as normal as michael knows that's what you get. um and then obviously i'll get all my images my images sent over to cam um and then i'll get his feedback tomorrow morning um, but that's one thing like <laughs> A check-in process is so so important so making it consistent so like obviously have the proper tripod set up every time make sure it's in the same spot every time like, because the more often and more frequent he can see my body in the same conditioning and the same environment it's very clear to see then if things aren't working if things are working so before we get run over <laughs> I think he was trying to be polite. Yeah. But yeah, like make sure all your checking images are just good quality the whole time. So if you are checking in with a coach, just make sure they're good. Just make sure they're good. Um <laughs> <laughs> thought we were gonna get run over again, but yeah, that's it. But now otherwise guys, like the morning is just I'm a morning person, so I just wanna get most of the most of the big stuff done. Um and that's it just so I feel mentally chilled because I'll probably say over the last couple of weeks especially um, with this Christmas New Year period like my anxiety has been a lot higher than normal um, and things that keep it under track is definitely things like morning routine so that having having like non-negotiables that you do in the morning in the evening so if anyone does suffer with kind of anxiety or stress and things like that just having some non-negotiables in the morning and the evening will help you out massively so routine will generally save your life um, coffee americana good morning everybody what is going on with michael <laughs> we're doing youtube today well half a day and i'm gonna vlog the rest of the day um did my check-in actually really happy the last couple of weeks over that christmas and new year period definitely anxiety was high my sleep was shit like really bad so over probably the last few days I've just been like really really strict on my evening routine so what I'm doing the last two hours before bed just being really really strict with that and it's improved massively like literally like training so good I feel I feel strong like everything's such a good position now and we're just gonna run with this momentum um, it feels so nice to feel good and rested again um, so just in your evening routine make sure you're doing like three things that is going to set yourself up for a good night's sleep and it will change your life sick um i kind of mentioned it a little bit before but just check-ins so obviously when i have my like the team checking with me and things like that the people that get the best results are the ones that talk to you the most are the ones that consistently check in are the ones that consistently ask questions and things like that so they only kind of got me thinking because I'm just doing my check-in for cam now and um, I'm just filling out his forms and stuff like that uploading my pictures and things like that and it's just little things so it's like I could answer so one of these questions is sleep feedback and it just says sleep feedback I could just be like good but I'm like that doesn't help cam out so I try and be as detailed as possible. Don't get me wrong, like I talk to them a lot. So I just put, I'm literally putting much better, really focusing on the last couple of hours of my evening routine and it's making a world of difference. So if you can kind of give a bit more of an explanation and things like that, it will generally, it will allow the coach or whoever you're working with, even like if it's, if it's work, right? If it'll allow your boss or it'll allow yourself, the more data and the more feedback that you can collect, the better the results are going to be because then we can really pinpoint on areas and fine-tune things because a lot of the time it is just fine-tuning because yeah training and training and diet program like that's simple but why aren't we adhering to that program or why are we struggling to get the results or why are we facing certain barriers so that's the most important thing right now is like to fine-tune and just just speak out a little bit more just speak out a little bit more so that's kind of it um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make sure the quality of your images are there, you talk to your coach, it's not a fucking dictatorship. Like you're here to work as a partnership. This is like a relationship. So communication is everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's my stern message for the day. <laughs> right guys, so 
chilled out a little bit in the morning, check-ins, ooh, check-ins, my check-in done. Um, coffee, a little bit of work. Pre-workout meal going in. It's pretty much the same pre-workout meal all the time. So we've got 100 grams of like the grounded flour, which is the Dubai version of like cream of rice. And then just put some flavor drops in there. One scoop of whey, one banana, and 100 grams of blueberries, some cinnamon, some pink salt, and that's literally it. So we'll have this now. In about an hour and a half time, we'll be training. So perfect time to just let it all digest and things like that. Just make sure, like, honestly, more than an hour for digestion. You don't want to go into a gym, into a gym. You don't want to go into training and to have food in your gut still, because obviously all the blood's going to be there, trying to draw out the nutrients when actually we don't want any blood to be in our gut. We want it to go to all to our muscles. So really simple right down there. And that's the reason we like, we can tell Michael off of this as well. Drink water in the morning. You've technically gone hopefully a good six to eight hours of not having any fluids. And you've got to think guys, like, if hydration, if you are dehydrated, the foundation of your body is not working. If we're 60 to 70% water, your cognitive function is not gonna be working, your hormones, everything, like everything from your performance, your training, your results, whatever it is, the foundation of the world is built from water. Like we need water, food, shelter. Do you know what I mean? So like, if you're dehydrated, that's it. The, get the basics right. So start your day off drinking a crap ton of water. So I'll do one of those bottles, which is like, 1.5 liters and then obviously the morning supplements and things like that so michael woke up a little bit late didn't have his water so we're going to try and get some water in him now but yeah that's that a little bit of youtube chill out for a bit and then um top line in arms all right guys so um top line and top line and arms um and abs um if, yeah, uh, top line and arms is fine um so this session for me is it's a new add-on. We've had it a while, but the, what we're doing is focusing on very much what it says is the top line. And by this, we mean the upper pec, kind of the rounding of the shoulders to build up the rounding of the shoulders and the upper back to make kind of like this, this top line look thicker, more condensed, everything going like that. That is the cleaner. Um, and I'll tell her to be just a couple of minutes. That was really rude, didn't that? <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so this is really to focus on that top line to make it look thicker, dense, and go into a smaller waist. And that's pretty much the mission, because obviously what you're gonna see over the YouTube over the next next while, <laughs> however long this is gonna be, is obviously I'm gonna get back on stage this year. Um, so we really wanna bring in that illusion of a big upper body, so that big kind of thick density in this line here and then obviously going into a smaller waist and obviously nice legs sort of thing. So that's pretty much it. So we've got the logbook all written up, what I did last time, and then obviously what we need to do going forward. So guys, I honestly like write down your weights, whether that's on your phone or looking at getting a logbook, something like this. So you're looking back at the last time you did your session and that's your baseline set. So going into this, I know, for example, I need to do a dumbbell high incline press. I did 40 kilos for 12, so I got to the top end of the rep range. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the 42s out today and aim for kind of like, aim for 12 reps of course, but look at kind of like, even if I'm getting 10 reps. So I've jumped up and then over the next couple of weeks, I'll try and get in an extra rep, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, even if it's just coming down to, I'm performing the movement technically better, better contractions, better depth, better training performance, whatever it is. But we need to see progressive progression over the weeks and months and years. So having everything written down, tracking that data is going to get you quicker results than you think. So that's pretty much that. I'm gonna jump on a meeting in two minutes. Cleaners outside. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go to the gym. And that's incredible. That is nuts. <laughs> Why did I think that was so amazing? <laughs> that is so cool. Mate, that is phenomenal. Right, let me get my notes after this. Ah, oh, that is mind blowing. That is so sick. We can end the day on that note. The fact that you can ring on Zoom is just... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> How you doing, bud, all right? Hey. Do you know what's amazing? I didn't know that you could ring on Zoom. <laughs> 